So my DVDs are £3.67, that is 367 times a net more than any other stand-up's second-hand DVD live. But to be fair, uh, there's a reason for that. I'm like a corrupt banker, aren't I? I've kind of manipulated the market to drive up the perception of my commodity in the marketplace. You know, to be fair to Jimmy Carr, for example, whose DVDs are all 1p, second-hand on the internet. He's not awake, is he, at 2 o'clock in the morning, buying his own DVDs second-hand on Amazon to resell off a trestle table in South End on sea He's not doing that. Imagine if he was. Imagine if Jimmy Carr was on Amazon buying something that he never paid the tax on what he got paid for doing it in the first place <laughs> from a company that don't pay any of their tax either. Is it possible to imagine a more tax-avoiding transaction than Jimmy Carr buying a Jimmy Carr DVD on Amazon? <laughs> Only if he found it using Google <laughs> on a Vodafone phone whilst paying Gary Barlow to spit cold Starbucks coffee into his splayed anus. <laughs> while the cast of Mrs Brown's boys stand around singing I still haven't found what I'm looking for. There's not a single taxable juncture in the entire transaction. 